There's been a lot of talk online about Luigi Mangione's spinal condition known as spondylolisthesis. So let's talk about this condition, how it happens, and what the treatments are. If you've been following the story, you've most likely seen these x-rays. Most people are horrified when they see them. People are judging how this construct looks, the length of the screws, how misaligned they are, but to be honest, this is an oblique x-ray and isn't really the best picture to give us a good judgment of what the surgery looked like. Reportedly, he suffered from back pain from a known spondylolisthesis that he had since childhood that worsened after a surfing incident in Hawaii in 2022. That's when all of his healthcare escalated. He went on to have a year and a half of conservative treatment, which culminated in a spinal fusion. So let's get back to business. What is a spondylolisthesis? That's a fun word, isn't it? Let's first talk about spinal anatomy. We have a bone, a disc, and a bone, and they're meant to be lined up on top of each other. And anytime we bend forward, we lean back, it moves in unison. The bony anatomy of our spine forms a circle, and that circle encases all the nerves in our spine. If we turn it this way, we can see that there's a small area of bone called the pars in our articularis. We like our funny words in medicine. Here is a cartoon depiction of where the pars is located, and here is a cartoon depiction of what is called a pars fracture. It's a type of stress fracture in our lower back, and it's really common in young athletes with back pain. In fact, it's thought that up to 30% of young athletes that complain of back pain do have these stress fractures. It's more common than you think. Do you remember earlier this year when Brittany Mahomes actually suffered a back fracture? More than likely, it was a pars fracture. It's common in youth sports where you have repetitive hyperextension, such as gymnastics, cheerleading, and football. Think of how gymnasts hyperextend their back or how football linemen get constantly hyperextended during practice and games. Repetitive hyperextension can cause micro fractures in your back, and it's most common at L5 and S1. Those tiny little fractures will lead to separation of this ring and over time you can have some instability where those parts of the spine will actually separate. Here's another cartoon animation that shows this and the L5 can actually start to slip forward on S1 like this. And when it does that, the nerve that runs through the foramen can get pinched and you can get sciatica type symptoms along with your lower back pain. And if this indeed is his x-ray, you can see where L5 is shifted dramatically forward on S1, where the back of the S1 is right here and the back of the L5 is right here. Imagine that he had this problem for many years with flare-ups of his pain that was manageable. Then he goes to Hawaii and does a surfing lesson. If you know anything about surfing, you know that while you're waiting on the board like this, it puts your spine in a hyperextended position which potentially exacerbated all of his pain. Reportedly, this led him to be bedbound for a week with debilitating back pain that spiraled out of control and continued to escalate to the point where he had surgery. Surgery for a spondylolisthesis, particularly when associated with pars fractures in a young patient, is typically done by an anterior and posterior approach. That means two surgeries. To best anatomically correct the spine, to pull it into correct positioning and get it aligned, in my opinion, is the best surgery for this type of problem in a young patient. This x-ray looks really good where the screws are aligned, the spondylolisthesis is reduced, and the lordosis or the curvature of the spine is maintained and restored back to normal. And although I said earlier that this was an oblique x-ray, I can tell that this was done by an all posterior approach with the type of cage that does not restore correction of the curvature of the spine and he didn't get reduction back of his malalignment. We're not putting that particular surgeon on the spotlight, but that wouldn't be my approach of choice in, in this case. So I hope that helps explain what a spondylolisthesis is, how it happens, and what the treatment is to correct it. As the story continues to unravel, it's getting more and more interesting, really putting a big spotlight on back pain and its treatments. I'm here on my platform to help you understand spinal conditions and its treatments. So let me know in the comment section what other questions that you have.